false friend and a shadow tend only while the sun shines. Friends aren't always what they say. Ooh. Yeah, this just keeps getting better. Anything here? Nope. Where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? Okay, we want to open that and let's see where. How do we want to go from this side? Oops. And then, so that would be locked. We'll just walk, I guess. Oh, that's fine. Uh, let's go. Him, him. And just keep walking. It's obvious the security lights would set off an alarm. Uh oh. That's oh, probably gonna. I needed to find somewhere to hide, or the guards would kill me. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> ah! I can't. I can't do this. I can't. I can't. Oh. Shooting. Who are you shooting, dude? Yeah, no, there's almost no way for me. works okay maybe the other side uh -oh. oh oh there's a thing We didn't have to go. 
Oh shit. Oh shit. There we go. Maybe. Where is this? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I see. Mm, I can hide. According to Mr. Sultan, this was the switch that would open the laser door to Mr. Logan's cell block. <sighs> Alright. And now we gotta go back. Cell block H. <laughs> oh, can I? Oh, I can jump. I can hide in the bush there. I can hide in that bush. But I can't when they see me. I see. I think I, I know how to do it now. Just gotta wait for this guard. It's a GTFO. Oops. Go away. Go away. To the other side. There we go. The hat. Look at my hat. It's still here. Oh, that was a lot easier than I was making it to be. So I guess I want to trigger him and then hide over here. Come here. Mm. 
Da hätte es nicht kommen. To the control room. Room. That looks like a gym. Just gotta hide it out. Mr. Silton seemed to think this would open the cell block door. Luckily, he was right. Luckily, he was right. Oops. We hide. Do you go back to your security room? Cell block. Cell block. Oh. H. No, that's me. Ah! I guess that's hiding. Cell block. Oh. Oh God. God damn. And we hide. And you go away, and we're gonna go to cell block and open that door. Unsurprisingly, Mr. Logan's cell was locked, but, thanks to my speedy brain, I was able to hack it in seconds. Mr. Logan was not pleased to see me. No one ever was. But I couldn't work out why. However, when I mentioned Mr. Silton, he soon cheered up. We quickly made our way outside. Although I wasn't sure about Mr. Logan's stealth techniques, they were quite different from mine. Whoa! But, someone must have noticed Mr. Logan was missing. As, with a bright flash, we were soon attacked. Oh! This still wasn't the plan, said Mr. Silton as he insisted he was okay, and that, no, I didn't need to clean up the trail of blood. He did however urge me to take care of the huge tank bearing down on us. <laughs> ah, yeah, I'll take care of that, yeah. <laughs> oh. 
That's one. Preston took out large guns as Mr. Silton gave me some driving software. It basically explained that one <sighs> of the pump made the bango, and the other one signaled Mr. Logan and Preston to fire their guns. Make it, will we make it? Pop, 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 pop. Five miles. Five miles. There we I go. I hope that all the bullets fired led to non fatal wounds, <laughs> but statistically, that yeah. was incredibly unlikely. Strangely, I felt You're a too secret excited murderer, to leave Horace. The care. Secret Mr. Silton winced as he clutched his bleeding shoulder and explained how you can't make an omelette without breaking a few eggs. I think broken eggs meant dead people. <laughs> Sometimes, he said, you have to do whatever it takes to survive, even if that means killing. But not innocent people, said Mr. Logan as he stared straight ahead. Eventually, I asked Mr. Logan what he had done to end up in prison, but he just continued staring out of the window. Mr. Preston smiled as he said, I suppose someone should explain. He told me when the war started, he and Mr. Silton had avoided conscription, but Mr. Logan was called up. His unit's first orders were to sweep through a huge urban area, killing anything that moved. Wow. The only trouble was, hundreds of refugees had recently taken shelter there. The generals <coughs> knew that those people were there, said Mr. Preston, but they couldn't have cared less. This isn't the time for another one of your conspiracy theories, interrupted Mr. Silton. Although this obviously annoyed Mr. Preston, he continued explaining how Mr. Logan and another man deserted, and, after a poor attempt to hide in a wooden vaulting horse, the pair of them were caught at gunpoint on a train, whilst trying to speak rudimentary German. Mr. Logan guided us down a small side street as Mr. Preston complained that he needed the toilet. Mr. Silton asked why we were taking the scenic route while he was trying not to bleed to death. But Mr. Logan gave Mr. Silton a quick glance. You're fine, he said with the faintest of smiles. Soon the night sky was full of twinkling stars and I was able to impress everyone with my navigation skills. 
the software was state of the art, but I remember Heather telling me how the ancients had used the stars in much the same way. It always made me smile, thinking about the names Squashed she gave the spider. constellations. The one finger to the <laughs> It was the middle of the night by the time we got back, but Mrs. <laughs> Silton was still up waiting for us. Really, again, in the same place, was all she said as she shook her head and tended to Mr. Silton's second bullet wound. Mr. Preston nearly knocked us over as he sprinted towards the bathroom. It appeared that his body had kept on making <laughs> urine, even though it didn't have anywhere left to store it. I asked Mr. Silton about Heather and the old lady, but he said he was just about to wash his hair. When I asked him again later, he said the main thing was that we'd got Logan and the van back, and couldn't the rest wait until I had cleaned up the band room for him. I didn't know what to say. Everything we had done, everything I had helped him with, I thought it was all to get everyone back together. But now I didn't know what to think. Before I could say anything, Mrs. Silton explained that it was okay if I only traveled on trains and was alone. I must have looked worried as Mrs. Silton smiled and continued, If you really want these idiots to go with you, they can disguise themselves and catch the next train after you. Mr. Silton was dismissive, and said I'd get nowhere without proper ID. They'll be stopping robots for even the tiniest of things, he said. And a robot passport costs a fortune these days. Well, said Mrs. Silton, it's a good job I've got this. <laughs> Mr. Silton looked confused and asked where Mrs. Silton got the money. Sometimes, said Mrs. Silton, when God slams a door in your face and shoots you twice in the shoulder, he opens a window. Mrs. Silton explained how Preston had given her the extra money. He said there was good money to be made selling pills and powder to people that distracted them from the world being an absolute mess. Bedtime, said Mr. Logan as he carried his guitar into his room. Everyone else left one by one, leaving me stroking the dog. to sound of Mrs. Silton making herself some breakfast. It felt very early, but I suppose Robot it was dreams. just that we had gotten so late. Mrs. Silton gulped down her coffee, and with a reassuring smile she said, Let's do this. The pedestrian tunnel was far longer than I expected, but it was nice, it gave me a chance to chat with Mrs. Silton. She told me she was from an upper class family, and that her parents had nearly disowned her when she married Mr. Silton. But she said she really was happy being with her husband. And after all, as she put it, he did provide for her in this messed up world. However, I couldn't help but laugh when she said how much she liked Mr. Silton's <laughs> band. I steered the conversation onto the topic of the war. She explained she had been a nurse near some major combat but she looked really sad, so I changed the subject. I asked her if the town was nice. Mrs. Silton smiled. 
and described it as a wretched hive of scum and villainy. Passports. Oh, I guess that just opens up the tunnel. Train tickets cost 1,000. So Mrs. Silton said I should trade in some of the things I'd cleaned so I could afford to travel. However, when we tried the door, it was apparent that the junkyard owner wouldn't be back for a while. So Mrs. Silton suggested I try to earn some money by other means. She said there were plenty of jobs in the town that a robot could do. Cafe, help wanted. Let's see, what do you guys want? The largest of the old ladies explained the, the job to me. I would be drying plates. She explained that old people couldn't afford to retire anymore. So she and her friends had to take menial jobs. All of the old ladies would be throwing plates at me as quickly as they could. I just right. had to catch and buy them. Yeah, let's do it. Minigame time. Got a point towards the uh oh. By the way, it plays very nice with the music. I love it. This is amazing. Dun. This is uh oh Old people, they throw very well. Uh, crescendo.
<laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. I thought I smashed more than that, but uh, okay, I'll take it. The last ship. Bum, 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 bum. make this an iPhone a mobile game. Oh, oh, make it VR. The rickety old door led into some this. kind of drinking establishment. But the bartender soon made it clear that, as he put it, they didn't serve my kind here, and that I would have to wait outside. Oh, that's gonna be fun. That is absolutely gonna be fun. I'll get that. Insert going to play. <laughs> oh my god, this is fucking amazing. Anyone here is over say 30, maybe 20, over 20 years old. You should, you should have an idea of what that is. Oh, oh, got the chairs and everything. It's good. Checkpoint. Checkpoint. Give me time. And 
that's it. Almost at the checkpoint. Invader. Oh. X. Come on. Look, we got this, we got this. Oh, that was, that was a close one. games. We'll grab the top spot please, thank you. And... Oh, oh, so many games. Oh, it's another hungry ghost. It's for multiplayer maybe. Oh. Suddenly, as if by magic, the shopkeeper appeared. <laughs> Hello sir, he said, if there's something that catches your eye, just pick it up and bring it over to me. Two K 
tycker o vacuum Vacuum. <laughs> that should be good. I'm sorry, sir, said the shopkeeper. <laughs> you don't have enough money. Okay, we're gonna make some The fitting room was actually a robot upgrade facility. Once completed, the money was digitally taken from my passport account. Long forgotten computer operating system. Okay. It's gonna be cool. Speed up the cleanup with this stepto chip upgrade. Lap the faith of death with this floaty yellow second chance. We don't need these, we were getting them for free basically. I'm intrigued. Okay, I'm very intrigued. Let's go grab this. That will make money. I'm no good with technology, sir. That cost 2000. explained the job to me. I would be making bricks. The world needed rebuilding and these bricks would more than help. He said I would be on the end of the production line and would be shaping the final part of the bricks. All I had to do was hit the brick in time with everyone else. All I gotta do is hit the brick with everyone else. Oh, they... oh.
به یه معنی ما شد ساعت حی حسن ما اطلاع بس ما شکلم دعای اکانی کنی لا بکیت ولا شی B plus. That's not good. This is difficult. Look at their eyes. Uh, there. Look at it. Okay, now I'm not focusing on that. Oh, come on. Kind of help the post lady need? explained the job to me. First I would be lady. sorting parcels. 
Many people were now separated by desolate battlefields and needed these care packages to survive. The parcels were either red or blue. All right. I just had to stamp I the right ones with the right color at the right time. I see. Oh. some upgrades we got a ticket we got uh, what else do we got we got the ticket we got the new operating system I don't know what that one
quote that we can do. And we can buy something else here, which is... This is temporary, we don't want to buy that one. Yeah, let's take it to check out. Looking to speed up the cleanup? Great choice, sir. That will be three th Clean top of the range cleaning ability for your trusty step to chip. Oh, I almost have to get that one. Whoa. Dishes. Pop, 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 pop. Let's go, ladies. Catch them all, catch, gotta catch them all the plates. Catch them, catch them all. Come on, ladies, that's too easy. 
Faster, faster. Ah, ah, okay, okay, I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it. <laughs> oh, we gotta get the range one, we gotta get the 30k. Alright, it's gonna be a while. I want this game in real life. Somebody has to make this game in real life. Almost 1300. That's, good. that's that's the average that we need to aim for or to do about maybe 30 of those. Well, you should get a good chunk of money. Da, da, da. 
Dishes.
Not bad. Not bad. 10k. Alright. Maybe it's enough. Clean is 30k and vacuum is. Let's see, what do we get after we get the vacuum? How much are we gonna need? Perfect for grabbing junk that's just out of reach, sir. That will be 10,000. Vacuum too. It's an upgrade. Okay. So that's definitely not realistic. Oh, where are we going? Train, train, train. <laughs> 